Alright you guys, got another video here for you. Now a while ago I created a video on uh, Cortana and disabling Cortana and it's caused a bit of a stir as usual and uh, a lot of people are saying the process still runs and that is uh, true when you disable it in group policy and it is disabled and also uh, when you do it via the registry it will disable it and as you can see here Cortana is gone but the process will still run here. So let's have a look at uh, Task Manager, and here we have, here we have the uh, Cortana running here. Now you can uh, disable a Cortana, have this completely gone, and you can actually remove Cortana completely. And uh, and but the trouble is there is a couple of sacrifices for this, and there seems to be a bit of debate going on there on the comments section. So I'm going to just uh, show you here what this is and what it means so here we have Cortana running it's been disabled uh, but this uh, as you can see it's not using any CPU it's just sitting here okay so let me just go here and we have our search box here now when you disable this Cortana here what's going to happen is you lose the ability to use your Windows search here on the taskbar which I've already stated and already you also lose the ability to right click and use the search here as well so here we can see in the comments section got a few people suggesting this here which already knew and the reason why I left it is because most people don't want to lose the ability to use the search feature and uh, we can see here a few people commenting about it and I've already stated that it does disable the search feature so let's go ahead and take a look here so I'm going to go into the place where you need to disable here. I'm going to go down to System Apps. And inside here, we're looking for Cortana, OK? So remember, the search box is working. And uh, we see Cortana here now. The guy is claiming that you just put a letter inside there and it will then stop Cortana process running and that is totally true that does do that but it will lose the search box and I think there's a guy saying it doesn't change anything okay so let's go ahead so I'm gonna come up to here and just put one letter in push enter I'll get the uh, box popping up here to say you can't do it. And then what I'm going to do here is end the task on Cortana. End task, try again, and it's now stopped. So if we look here, the, the process won't restart and Cortana has now gone. But in the process, you now lose the ability when I click on the search box here. So if I right click and hit search, it doesn't work. And you lose the ability for search. Even if I right click here and go to search and show the search box, and there's my search box. And when I click on it, can't do anything. The search box is disabled. And that's a bad feature for there. Now you can still use search here if you wanted to. If you want to go up here you can search here and that's fine but a lot of people use the search box down here and that can be an issue so if you do want to stop the process from running you can do uh, but there's a drawback where you do lose that feature down here and that is a no-no for me so I'd prefer to just leave that running it's no big deal it's not actually running in the background it just sits there and uh, it will disable uh, Cortana now to undo this, this, all you need to do here is right click here and just take away the letter that you put in and say yes. And lo and behold, your search feature then comes back. So I hope this one clears it up. I hope this one uh, stops all this silliness that happens inside comments and people getting into big debates on stuff. Yes, it does work. It will stop the process. But in the meantime, you will lose the ability. So as you can see here, the process will come back. And then that will be that. You won't be able to use that uh, feature once you disable it. 
So uh, there you go. I'm going to wrap this one up. I hope this one helps you out. So if you are looking to stop that process from running completely, that's how you can do it. But there is a drawback. You will lose the Windows search feature in your taskbar and on your right click menu here. But now it's working. Anyway, thanks again for watching, guys. Hope this one helps you out. My name is Brian from BrightTechComputers.co.uk. Thanks again for watching. Bye for now. Thank <laughs> you.